Brenda um, Bromley. Uh, let's see. You were charged with making a uh, charge a red light violation on Eddy Street and Dudley Street. Now that's right next to Rhode Island Hospital. Yes, sir. Yeah. Were you visiting or do you work at the hospital? I don't work there, and I, I almost lived there for three weeks when my mom was there. Oh, your mom was a patient there? Yeah. And you were going to visit your mom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, she was in ICU. How's she doing? She passed away. So this is very, this is very recent. Yeah, 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 so. Let's take a look at it. The light is red, the light is red, the light is red, and... You were going to visit your mother? I was just leaving. I was trying to get to work. I was going to see her before work so I could still go to work and not miss work because I had taken three days off. I actually, when she got there, I had stayed with her. I had got there on a Thursday through the emergency room, and then I didn't leave until Saturday. Um, they told me she was kind of out of the woods, that she was doing a little bit better, but in the doctor's words, she was a very sick puppy. And so I went home to take a shower and tried to resume some sort of life. And um, when I wasn't at work, I was with my mom. Yeah. How many siblings do you have? Three. Uh, two. Two. <clears throat> Were they all there? Um, intermittently. We all kind of, you know, took turns when we could be there and tried to make sure that she wasn't alone. I think everybody in the courtroom can sympathize with that. You know. uh, <clears throat> in their hour of greatest need, you know, in their hour of greatest need, what they need is family. You know, the, I, I, one of the sins of this country is the disintegration of the family unit. You know, so when you see families come together like that, it's, uh, you just brought back memories. I remember a while ago when my dad passed away, uh, we had 20 people. Yeah, we had a we had a vigil for like 24 hours and no one would leave. So, I've done this four times. I think under these circumstances, that uh, Brenda, I think we're going to give you a break. I appreciate that. I was going to use also my good driving record, never having any infractions in Rhode Island ever in my entire life, and mass not in the last 15 years, no. any kind of infraction. But so you I don't want to pay the extra money. <laughs> so you come to Rhode Island to break the law. <laughs> Good luck to you. The matter is dismissed. Thank you.